Happy Monday, everyone. This is Martha with Nature Niche. And this week, I want to talk to you about a really fun upcoming event, the Great Backyard Bird Count, and help you see how easy it is to enter your data. So I spoke about this event uh, in my Monday post last year, uh, number 38. And the Great Backyard Bird Count this year is the 25th annual um, for this event. And it is running February 18th through uh, February 21st. So this coming uh, Friday through Monday. And this event occurs um, each February for four days. And it's just a great way for all of us to come together for the love of birds. So I thought this Valentine's Day Let's talk about this again and um, I'll try to help show you how easy it is to enter your data. Um, and so people come together from around the world to watch and count birds. And this is part of um, Cornell Lab of Ornithology, National Audubon Society, and Birds Canada, their citizen science project. And your observations um, will help avian scientists better understand global um, bird populations. It's just a snapshot in time, four days, uh, but prior to one of uh, the major annual migrations. Um, all you have to do is watch for a minimum of 15 minutes. Um, you can do it as an individual or um, in groups. If you're in a group, you just want a leader to be assigned to record for the whole group. And um, you can submit online very easily through eBird. So I'm gonna do a demo of that in a minute. I just wanted to show you um, a couple of things. So this is birdcount.org. The Cornell Lab of Ornithology is having a live stream webinar on February 16th, starting at 2 p.m. Eastern. So that's a great way to hear about uh, some additional tips for participating in the Great Backyard Bird Count. And their website has lots of other um, helpful links, how to participate, how to submit photos. as well as uh, a live map where you can watch uh, bird sightings come in from all over the world and a link directly to eBird um, to help you share your bird observations, whether you're looking at your feeding area in your own backyard or you took a walk um, on a, a public lands park, uh, Chippewa Nature Center in Midland, you know, someplace like that you can share your data very easily that way. So here I have clicked on uh, that link that takes me to eBird. I was already logged in. Um, if you need to, you might need to set up an account with an email and password if you don't already have one. But once you're logged in, um, just go under submit and choose your location. I have um, done eBird list from my home before, so I have that location already set up, but you can also search um, on the, uh, find it on the map function and scroll in and be able to locate, you know, maybe you're out, maybe you're out at Chippewa Nature Center and walked one of the trails and took a list. So you can also, um, click and uh, find your location that way. So I'm gonna select uh, my home location because I watched this afternoon my own bird feeding station. And it asks for the observation date. And um, I was stationary watching from the, the warmth of my own home. Um, certainly if you're, you're walking a trail or something like that, you wanna select um, the, the traveling function. And then um, it asks for the time period that you observed. So I took notes, uh, old, kind of old school style on a piece of paper um, and uh, 
or you can do it live on the eBird app um, on your mobile device. So I watched for an hour. You certainly don't have to watch that long. The Again, the minimum is 15 minutes um, of observation to participate in the Great Backyard Bird Count, one of those four days. Um, I will put one, even though I was watching with my Cocker Spaniels, uh, and checklist comments, I'll just put um, backyard feeding station. All right, and um, it has a list by a bird group, and you can enter um, how many you saw of different species. Um, you can jump to a species by uh, typing up here. So I saw Northern Cardinals. That'll take me um, down there. So I had uh, eight Northern Cardinals. Um, and then I can just scroll through and add in some of the other species I saw. I had two American tree sparrows. I had four dark-eyed juncos. I know I had American goldfinches. I had 10 of those. And 12 pine siskins. And so on. So you just keep going through, um, entering how many you saw of uh, the different species. If if you can't find uh, the species you observed, you can um, add a species here. You can put them in um, alphabetical order uh, by clicking here. So, uh, however you're most comfortable. Um, and fastest uh, locating the species that way. And then just, uh, are you submitting a complete checklist? Yes, this is this is my full checklist. I don't have to go identify anything. So I would hit yes, and then um, click submit. So after I hit submit, I get a summary of my um, whole bird list for my hour of watching. I saw 18 species. What really struck me is that, you know, tallying them all up, I saw 71 birds just looking out my kitchen window um, at my, my feeding station for an hour. So that's, I feel pretty lucky. That's, that's a pretty neat thing to be able to do. And look at all this great data I am sharing. If you need to um, edit species, you can do that here. Uh, add media, media if you want to, um, add photos or, or sounds, and it's just a great way, easy way to submit your data and participate in the Great Backyard Bird Count. I hope you get a chance to do so, and I'd love to have you come in the store and tell me what you saw. Take care and have a good week.